Hello again guys, I've taken a look at a lot of Bluetooth earbuds on the channel. I actually looked previously at a pair of earbuds from the same company. This is from GoNovate. But today they sent me one that charges in a very interesting way. So let's take a look at it. In this very unassuming cardboard box is the GoNovate G8. So let's take a look at it. So inside the box, you've got a little card that tells you about entering pairing mode and how to charge it. You have a full user manual with an overview. You can see on there the charging port, the multifunction button, the microphone, and the LED. How to charge it, how to use it, and you get a little indication there as to how you actually charge the thing that makes it kind of unique and fun. LED indicator information, how you'd wear it, saying you can wear it in either the left or the right ear, which is nice. And you can actually pair two devices to this, which I am a big fan of. There's also some package content information over here, some battery life, so it has four and a half to five and a half hours of music playback at 30 to 40% volume. Warranty information, it has a 12 month warranty, all kinds of good stuff in there. And of course, last but certainly not least, you get this nice little case here with the headphone in inside, the earbud inside. For the size of the earbud, this is definitely kind of a big case, but you get a lot in here. So right here, we've got some silicone tips. You can just replace them if you don't like the one that's included on it. And here you've got your two chargers, not one, but two. And you can see on this one, it says use in car unrotatable. And this one does not say anything. So presumably this is used somewhere else. And I think I may have actually broken this one because it says unrotatable, but I, I rotated it. So, oops, that was just my first instinct was to try to rotate it. And again, last but certainly, hopefully not least, is the GoNovate G8 earbud itself. And the cool thing about that is, you can see here on the back of it, it has two little pogo pin connection points. Pogo pin? I don't know. But all you're gonna do is just magnetically clasp it to it. It just clips into place, kind of does it on its own. Very nice. It should work with either one. Yep. And then of course, taking a close look at it, you've got your GoNovate branding, you have the multifunction button, the LED, and the microphone right here, the silicon tip right here, which we'll just leave on for the moment, and of course, again, those charging pins. And without any further ado, let me go ahead, power this on, pair it up to a phone, test it out with some music, see how it sounds. And it says power on, ready to pair. And looking at my available devices, there's the GoNovate G8, and I just heard it say pairing complete. So let's pop this in the ear. Fits in just like that, so it's facing this way. And actually, it seems like it's in there pretty snugly, pretty securely. I don't know if I'd wanna go running in this, but just for sitting around the house or maybe walking on the treadmill, working at the treadmill desk, seems like it'd do an all right job. Now we play some music. It's got good sound quality right out of the gate. And for something of this size, it's kind of surprising. It's putting out a lot of, a lot of sound. That is maxed out though. I'm not seeing anything on here about turning the volume up or down. So presumably it's all controlled from your phone, but it is Bluetooth 4.1. So if you have two devices, you can technically pair them both, which is cool. Talks about receiving phone calls, answering and hanging up and rejecting, power on, power off, all that fun stuff, but nothing about actually turning it up. But it's a lot of sound, I will say. Let's try it the other ear. And that's a pretty good fit too. And if it's not a great fit, they do again have those two additional silicon tips you can switch out. That's a, I'm gonna have to turn it down. It's actually kind of hurting my ear. And actually for the size, it's putting out a decent amount of bass. I mean, it's because it's in the ear, it's able to hit a little harder. That's kind of cool, but it hits the high notes really nicely. And onto some classical music, very nice. Yeah. I mean, all around, this is a very nice sounding earbud. It's probably not gonna help much, but we'll go ahead and try to see if you can hear it. But I can actually hear it from here and I have it all the way turned up. So there you go. I can hear it from here, so it's obviously kind of loud. And because several of you guys have asked about the second device and pairing these things, what it says to do is actually to turn off Bluetooth on your first device and then go through the pairing process again and turn Bluetooth back on on the first device and restart and it'll connect to both. So I'm gonna go ahead and pair this up to my second phone. We're now ready to pair and we're pairing on the iPhone and it's paired. Turn Bluetooth back on on the first device and actually it says it's connected already. I didn't have to restart anything. So let's just see. So I'm gonna start playing on one. It's playing from the, the HTC 10. Now let's see, if I play something over here, what's gonna happen? It just took over. So I just started watching a YouTube video and it took over until I stopped the video and then it went back over to, that's very cool. So I would assume if I started a music app, it would just go back and forth with whichever one wants to take precedence. I've not actually tried that before. That's really cool. And before I go ahead and wrap things up, let me just make a quick call to my wife. Since I have both of these paired up now, I should be able to do that using my main phone. We'll see how it sounds. Hello, are you able to hear me? Okay, do I sound bad? Do I sound good? 
like I'm far away because I'm, I'm using an earbud that's in my ear canal. So you are able to hear me though? Right. Let me try it in the other ear. Is that any different, any better, any worse? About the same, okay. Echoey, okay. Well, that's enough. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this video up then. Okay, bye. All right, and that's the one thing I normally do not test on these, I always forget to. So the microphone on this does work, but it's very echoey, it's sort of muffled. So maybe don't intend to use this as your primary device for making phone calls, but if you just do it occasionally, it'll get the job done. And in terms of the call quality coming the other direction, my wife was calling through the car, so I was able to clearly understand what she was saying with no problems in either ear, so that's good. So realistically, the price on this is about 19 bucks, less than 20 bucks over on Amazon. It comes with two chargers, one for the car, one for your computer or whatever else you wanna hook it up to. They're both just USB ports, so wherever you have USB, you can use this, which is awesome. So for less than 20 bucks, I think this is not a bad little deal at all. So I'll put a link down in the description again to wherever you can find this over on Amazon. Thanks so much to GoNovate for continuing to reach out to me and continuing to work with me on things like this. Thanks to you guys for continuing to watch my videos. I definitely do appreciate it. Make sure to hit that like button down below this video if you like this video, if you want to see more things like this, more kind of weird off-the-wall gadgets as it were. Subscribe to my channel to receive all the videos that I make as soon as they become available. You can turn on notifications to get notifications on your phone or through email or wherever else you want to get them. I think Google might even be sending out messenger pigeons from YouTube headquarters now if you ask real nicely. But but that's all for today. I will see you again next time.